I'm going to check the gain controls, also called volume controls, input attenuators, volume knobs. I'm going to check the gain on this amplifier. When I turned it on earlier, the gain on channel 2 was very scratchy when I started turning it up. The gain on channel 1 didn't work at all. So I feel there's some dust buildup inside these gain controls. So let's take a listen. Turn on the CD player. So that side was very scratchy. So we're going to do a cleaning on that in a little bit. Let's check the gain control on channel 1 now. As you can see, I've turned up the channel and there's no output. So what I'm going to do next, you can see there's little gain coming in. I'm going to turn it up a little bit more. There you go. So you can see I have level coming in on this channel. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to exercise the gain control to see if the music will come on. If it is in fact a dirty pot or a dirty volume control, whatever you want to call it. So let's see what it does now. So I turn it up a little bit. And you can hear it's a, it wants to come in. You can hear it right now. So I bet you if I... I'm not touching it. So this is definitely a very dirty gain control. Let me tap on it. Okay. It's probably going to need a It's probably going to need a It's probably going to need a deep cleaning. What we're going to use is Deoxit Gold G5. This is the best stuff out there for cleaning uh, dirty pots, dirty volume controls, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is the best stuff. So we're going to go ahead and take care of this right now. First thing we're going to do is turn off the amplifier. I've already unplugged the inputs and the speaker cables and now I'm going to stand, stand it up I can work with it a little bit easier. So now that I have the amplifier standing up, I'm going to grab my can of Deoxit, Deoxit Gold G5, and I'm going to spray the knobs. I'm going to let it seep in a little bit, and then I'm going to take the knob, and I'm just going to start turning. Do the same for channel channel one. Go all the way around on this one. It's got a lot in it. Then I'm gonna repeat it. Let it seep in a little bit. Turn it all the way over. The other channel, this channel is really dirty so I'm going to 
Do this one a third time. Okay, I'm going to wipe it off. Off best I can for right now. I may have to do this again. Turn the volume down, and let's uh, let's plug it up and see what happens. Okay, I got the inputs plugged back in. Got the speakers plugged back up. Let's go ahead and turn on the amplifier. I'm going to start the CD player. Let's check channel 2 first. The cleaning seems to have worked on channel 2. Now let's check channel 1. It seems to have worked on channel one as well, but I'm going to try it again, just, just to be sure. It appeared to have worked on both channels. That's good news. The one thing you need to be careful of when you have an amplifier that a channel doesn't work. If you troubleshoot it a little bit, as I did, and play with the knob, turn the knob as much as you can, see if some kind of signal will come through. If the signal doesn't come through at all, I would first try some Deoxit G5, some gold, the gold G5. I would try some of that. It's worth a shot before you take it into the uh, repair shop and pay a few hundred dollars to get it fixed. And you should understand by these demonstrations that if you take it to the repair shop, the technician may grab his Deoxit gold G5 spray it into the pots and charge you a couple hundred bucks.